All right, so now we're going down to Ailing Lauren, layer three. I wonder, are we back to having three floors per uh, Chalice Dungeon, or, we, or is four the new normal? Because the last one had four floors, and that was strange. This one just has a door right away. No branching path. Maybe this will be a short one. Maybe a single episode floor. We haven't had one of those for a while. These, uh, these dungeons have been getting longer and longer to get through. Any secrets around here? Oops. Way to go, me. Hey, buddy. Gotta make sure I don't reflexively block because I've been using a shield on, in a... I've been using a shield in, in Dark Souls lately. So, red guy came for- ooh, boss chamber right there. Or way to boss chamber. I guess I should go this way. Cause this is where the, uh... Where- it's where the lady team seems to be. They're coming out slowly, so there must only be one summoner. Ow! Dick, move! Ow! Why? Jesus! Why does anything do that much damage? Jesus Christ! These spiders are dumb. <laughs> the range they have is just silly. It's like they have it all. Range, speed, and damage. Because fuck you. Trying to clear them out as they come because they're in a big group. Probably not a good idea. They're just going to all show up together now. So we're back to having multiple summoners again. That's just nasty. Hello. Hello. Where's that? Oh, God. Oh, it's just her. Okay. Ow, shit. Hit. Was not expecting that hit to come in. When I heard the weird gasping, I thought that that meant... I, for a second there, I was worried that that meant that the uh, crazy knife people were here. Hit. Those people that, weir that move weirdly like a Japanese uh, horror movie. There we go. There goes your summons. What are you going to do now? Oh, I mean, good strategy. You really recovered from that from that pitfall. More blood, awesome. More that I can't lose. It is interesting leveling up basically every time I do a floor here, especially since we know there's a whole we know there's a whole tier that's harder than this. So there still are ways to get rapid experience cuz playing through areas hasn't been super lucrative so far. I guess ever since I got to the forest, it has been better. Th this looks kind of new. Hello, fire. That's hitting a pillar or something. Aha! Yeah, this is a new room, room I think. I don't remember being on this kind of weird upper floor area. Or maybe I've seen it before and I'm just getting thrown off by the fact that it's a different lighting engine now. I mean, different lighting system. So ever since we got to Ailing Lauren. There we go. So these are going to be normal now? These weird... Tusked spellcasters. The pyromancers that are covered in fire. I mean, horns. Horny fire. No, oh, that looks like it opens. Really? It's not a secret or something? Oh, jeez. They don't make them like they used to, apparently. Oh, oh! No stagger. That caught me off guard. They're still pretty easy to take down close range. Fuck your fire. This is now the opposite of the normal situation. Now I want to destroy all the fire because I can. So we have two doors, one on this side, one on the opposite side. Just gotta pick one. Ooh, that's a whole room. Oh! And it looks like those are the weird Japanese horror movie people. There's one at the end. Any spiders in the ceiling? Not immediately apparent. Is it just the one enemy? Ooh, they're glowing. They're glowing. Gotta watch out for this. Hello. Uh-oh. Unsuccessful. Oh, shit. Alright, let's cover some distance real quick. Shit. Dodge! God damn it. Uh, is there more than one? What was that sound? That's just the one? Shit. Unsuccessful. Alright. I'm, fa I'm utterly failing at my attempts to, uh... Interrupt it. God damn. There we go. 
I think that's the first time I've tried to visceral... That's gotta be the first time I've tried to gun parry an attack that I dodged already. <laughs> it's a weird mechanic. I already dodged out of the way, but it was I still had enough time to prepare. Those Ritual Blood 5s are valuable. Uh, if you don't need them anymore for rituals, you can go ahead and just... Use, wow, that's the door already. Okay. If you don't need them for rituals, you can just go ahead and, and sell them. Uh, they, they, they give you like 10,000 Blood Echoes each. Like, I have something like 150,000 Blood Echoes worth of, uh, of level 5 Ritual Blood in my inventory right now, or something like that. Not that I'm in a hurry to spend it, of course, because... It's relatively easy to get a bunch of it. And, uh, I might still need those. But it's interesting for the long run. Kinda like how I sell duplicate armor sets and stuff like that. Is there a trap in this room? That's a weirdly flat ceiling. So I can... I can drop down, but that's it? Is there, are you a secret? You're not a secret. So there's like a weird point in this room where I can drop down and that's it? Huh. But I've, I've been selling duplicate armors, it's funny, like stuff like hunter's gloves and surgical gloves and stuff, like... The old sets are worth like a like hundred each, it's garbage. But when you sell like student clothes and the flower, like the doll clothes, those are worth thousands each. It's actually pretty valuable, and there's an, I don't know of any reason to keep them around. After you have one. Alright. No immediate sign of bad guys. I like that we seem to be in another new room too. This weird little grave room. Are those just wolf people? There's the big open room we saw from above. A little bit of materials for the next child's dungeons. Hello. How you doing? Whoopsie. Definitely like having the fast attacks against these guys because they're... They're just quick enough that they can actually react between uh, greatsword attacks and make a big mess out of you. Best avoided. Where are we coming out to? Is that the boss chamber? Was I already in this room? Oh god. Walked right past you, I guess. That's the lamp, right? Yeah, that's the lamp. So this is just another door into the main room. That's the boss chamber direction. We've already opened that up. So I'll be able to go there in a moment, but we should check out this room I haven't gone to yet. Big open area. Is it dangerous? Oh. Let's pause for a moment. That's a guy. Is that new? I don't know if I recognize that. Oh, those are the guys that are using humans as clubs. It's probably one of those weird Japanese horror style, like, twitchy guys. It's just less apparent right now. Let's see. Can I get a backstab, Visceral? Come on. There we go. Stealth attack! Takes care of that one. Oh, there's more of them. There's one on the right. Two and Oh, those are normal hollow type dudes. Those are fine. They can be dealt with. This one on the right might be a twitchy, though. Or is he normal? Can't tell if it's a twitchy or not from here. No, he looks normal. There might not be any- that might have been the only one that was actually threatening in this room. I'll still go for the, uh, backstab if I can. Oh, I mean, technically uh, just as effective. Keeping an eye out for surprises. Nothing can fall from the ceiling because we've already been in this room. And we, we saw it from above, so that we know there's no, nothing coming down at us. So now it's just about being careful to not alert the bad guys so that we can get clean kills. Hello. Uh-oh. Yep, I saw that attack getting off early. Son of a bitch. Why me? <laughs> no! You ruined me, game. You ruined me. There we go. Oh well, one blood vial. We're still almost recovered. I was worried because we lost a lot during that, uh, the fight with the twitchy guy. But we've recovered. I guess either way I'm gonna go back to the, uh, before I move into the boss chamber, I'm obviously going to go to the Hunter's Dream real quick to spend our Echo since we're already over 100k again. That is an interesting thing. It's like the whole point of having your Echoes be a currency on your character that you can lose is that you have to go all the way to the next bonfire to use them or choose to backtrack. So in that way, the Chalice Dungeons kind of nullify that progression system because you can just... They're non-linear and they're short. Like really short. So you just backtrack to like the room right before the one you're in. And you can just spend your old blood goes. And you don't even lose progress if you open the gate already, because it's right next to the, the bonfire. So, 
It's weird. It's like it kind of defeats the purpose of... It kind of removes the risk-reward system a bit. The biggest problem is just if you go into a boss ch fight with uh, your echoes on you, that you have to keep retrieving it, but honestly, you could just spend them all in advance. Is there nothing here? Is this just a dead end? What? That's super weird. Is there a secret? You can hear weird breathing sort of sounds. Like right over here. Huh. Maybe this is something that'll come up later as we go to the next area. I don't know what to make of that. That's weird. That's truly strange. Oh! Sorry about the debris, boys. We'll see if I find that. There could also be a secret wall somewhere in that giant room, but it's such a huge area that... I don't know if I want to put you guys through me sitting there and hitting every wall one by one. Let's go ahead and go by the Hunter's Dream. Alright, so I was right before about the skill cap. Now if I put a point into skill, I don't even get more power for my skill weapon, the cane, which is weird. I can get one more damage for my sword, but that's pointless. Now if I put a point into strength, I still keep getting three points at a time of damage for my uh, sword, but not for the cane. So there, seem, there seems to be like, out of the several soft caps in the game, the so, the hardest of the soft caps we find so far is level is hitting level 50 on an attack stat. It looks like, I think my next goal is going to be to hit 50 uh, vitality, because it, it increases my health by about 20 at a time. So just keeping that up, will, will, that'll, that'll help us out because the damage is getting higher and higher every time. There's some very real risks that some of these enemies are going to do some serious damage, and I do know that there's- I know that there's a, uh, a chalice dungeon that cuts your hit points in half, which is going to be a problem. Alright, let's get this door open and see what's behind it. I'm expecting it to loop around in some way that's- I guess it's already inevitably close to where we already are. Something about this has to loop around in some way, because there's just- we could hear beasts behind the wall. No door there. Oh, fuck you. You're out of bounds. Oh, that was some serious- Oh, god damn it. Now you're just being a dick game. These characters are well outside of where they're supposed to be. Can I close the door behind me or something? Maybe they'll stop aggroing on me? All the way over here? Run away a little bit? I do not need the spiders following me. Is there like a lamp I can light in here? On the way to the boss? No? Oh well. Well, there's the boss chamber. <laughs> Never really run up to that in advance before like that. Any secrets here? Don't know where to check anymore. Oh well. Hopefully the spiders won't be there to greet me now. Let's get out this- let's get, get into the side area. Which we didn't have before the level, but we have it after- oh god! Well, there's a fun surprise! Here's Mr. L here's Mr. Wolfie. Can you go through doors? That might be a no. Well, this is awkward. I mean, he tries everyone, you gotta give him that. <laughs> oh god, he's coming through the door. I feel lied to. <laughs> there we go. Taken care of. That was a nasty surprise to have just waiting for you. Do not appreciate, excuse me. Alright, how big is the side area gonna be? We haven't seen a vendor in a while, is there gonna be one of those? I know that there's just occasionally a vendor in these places. We saw one of them a few floor, a few dungeons ago. It's goddamn spiders. At least that one was dead for good. That is the... Uh oh. Definitely something behind the wall somewhere. Nope. Multiple wolves. Howdy, y'all. Having a grand old time. Oh, shit. Not the range I was expecting for him. Back off. Careful. There we go. Just keeping my distance. Stunning away. Quick. Keep going. <laughs> Probably not the best weapon, but the, uh, the sheer range and the frequency of hits seems to more or less work out for me. Anything on the ceilings? No spiders in this room. No traps, as far as I can tell. I heard stuff over here. Makes me think there's gonna be like a fake wall around here. But no evidence so far. 
Oh, bridge room's back. Twice in the same dungeon? They really did not make enough assets for these, uh... For the, uh, Chalice Dungeons, if we're using this again already. Within one ailing Lauren dungeon. Is that like a weirdly glowy path back there? Hey guys. And you have any summoning bells? Ooh. That just seems mean. Well, didn't fall for that one. Unless there's gonna be one t two feet later that it hasn't exploded yet. Hey, big. You're getting bigger, aren't you? Do not appreciate. Yes! That went about as perfectly as I could have. Oh, he fell through the floor. Well, I'm not getting his loot, apparently. Tell me that the redness of him means he doesn't mean he's a summon. I'll be very disappointed if he's some kind of annoying summon. Is that guy going to chase me? Or just hang out down there? I'd, I'd prefer to search the top floor first. Looking for side paths and pressure plates. Huh? Oh, I hear the bell. Oh, hey guys. Oh. I tried to Batman that shit and go back and forth between two attackers at once. The juggle did not work in continuity. Oh, hello. Ooh! Why? Why does it always have to be these spiders? Oh, cool. They learned to mix their units up. They'll be really good at RTSs. Huh. Missed that guy. Is that one gonna disappear? Good. Is there another one? Or was that one summoning everyone? Is that her? Nope, that's a statue. This place might be empty now? Is this an empty room? It's also weirdly dark. Secret? No. What is the purpose of this chamber? Just to throw, like, one enemy at me? That's some weird design. Check for doors. It's very dark in here. Is there a door on this side? No. What? It's just a weird... I, I don't know if I've ever seen this staircase chamber before in a capacity where it doesn't actually lead to anything. Like, it's just the weird staircase room going to a dead end and that was the whole room well threat nullified I guess except it wasn't gonna it wasn't even really a threat those guys weren't gonna come out of there the summons were pretty localized oh well time to check that bottom floor these side areas often have enemies camping out on them that's a stone yeah the stone ones don't fall apart oh Hi, buddy. Just gonna put some holes in you real quick. There we go. You have any friends? You all alone in here? Ah, I'd probably throw Molotovs too. Damn it! One of you guys needs to be a secret one of these days. It's been so long since the last one that was actually a fake wall. All right, this one goes somewhere. I guess it has to go somewhere. We have a, we have that uh, that f hole in the floor, and we have the bridges. Hello. So this is where they try to dump me with that hole. Oh, that's freaky looking. They they took one of those uh took one of those one of those loot monsters and they put it on a weird tombstone. Oh, it's on top of a chest. That's extra weird. Is this like a really dangerous trap? Oh, I found the trap. There we go. Got my money. Oh. Just got to deal with these guys now. Oops. Swing away! Swing! There we go. Yep, this is definitely the anti-wolf weapon. Because they always attack in groups in a weird line that makes them very easy to target in that capacity. Get out of here, you dumb traps. That would have really sucked to get killed by those. Because I, I admittedly did, I didn't notice them. They pulled that old, they pulled that old trick where they uh, distract you with treasure. Anything dangerous around here? Nope. Just smoke. Oh, nope. Pressure plate that doesn't activate anything. We're fine now. Hello. Break it. Break it. Obviously, that's way easier to do with a uh, in great sword mode. Nothing here. That chest probably explodes. Yep. Whoa. Oh, 
we got a weird piece of insight into how those enemies work because we just watched him spawn like five feet in the air on top of the uh, chest on, on top of the uh, the coffin he was supposed to come out of awkward the bastard of Lauren that's new right I think that one's a new material creepy name too let's see it'll be in the key category I think or are they in crafting materials they're in crafting materials aren't they that's weird Bastard of Lauren, special material used in a holy child's ritual. Remains of Lauren infant infected by the scourge. A harbinger of curses and symbol of defilement. The additional right curse defiles dungeons in which the hunter's HP is greatly reduced. But what better place to seek cursed blood gems but in the midst of defilement? Like the Valley of Defilement? Huh. It's weird that it's called the Bastard of Lauren or whatever, but it, the, the first time I find one, there's two of them together. It's like they were they were, they were thought they were thought so little of that they couldn't even they couldn't even think of them as more than one person. It's like, eh, you two stacked on top of each other. You're one person. Hey, Wolfie. I see you. I'm aware of you. I mean, at least he's polite enough to wait for me. I guess. I'm actually still below on blood vials. Oh, this looks like a tre this is usually the door to a treasure chamber. Secrets. Leave it to me, looking for secrets when I already found a treasure chamber. Like, that's that's already your reward, you did it. Up, uh, up. Uh, it's one of these guys again. The easy to visceral attack dudes. Keeping an eye out for surprise spiders. We good? Don't want spiders, don't want surprise traps. Come on, buddy, you come to me. Come on. Nope. Got him. No, nope, nope. That was close. Almost lost that opportunity. 2012. You're three years too late for that. Cool. Capped out on blood vials. Capped out on health. As long as I don't fall into a, a trap or something, I'll actually be pretty healthy for doing the next boss fight. Blooming cold, cold blood flower. Is that a new one too? How many new mats can we get? No, I've had this one before. Pale vegetation that commonly grows on cold blood in a place long abandoned that has bloomed into bright red Stygian flower. Huh. Anything nasty around here? Not a whole lot going on right here? Alright. Let's open up. What's this boss gonna be? Wow, two more bastards of Lauren. It's a lot of those apparently. Someone, someone was very busy. Like a Baratheon. Oh, more blooming cold flowers. There's a repetition to the loot here. You could. You guys need to organize your library. Just put this in like named folders. Put them next to each other. We'll figure it out. Come on, man. God, do everyone a favor. All right, I'll see you guys back at the boss. It's gonna take a while to run back. Let's give ourselves another 20 hit points. All right. And we're about to do a boss fight. And if, uh, there's a good chance I'll die. Don't want to be distracted picking up my stuff over and over again, so I'll just go ahead and blow this on resources I can use. Twin shards? Really? Wow, they're 10,000 each. That's crazy. Everything's really expensive. I've, I think I've heard that bloodstone chunks, even when you do unlock them at the inside vendor, cost like 60 insight, which is like completely nonsensical price to pay, frankly. I could just keep stocking up on blood vials and quicksilver bullets and the like. Might as well. Or or offensive powers, like fire paper. I have a lot of fire paper. Wow. Ah. Uh, we'll keep pour we'll keep pouring into that blood vi that that blood vial backlog. Just to keep it healthy. There we go. Now I'm nice and low on blood blood echoes, so when I do die against this boss, because that happens a lot, I don't have to worry about picking them up midway fight and distracting myself, because they're spent accordingly in a way that they'll be useful. This is a weirdly dangerous chalice dungeon in the terms of, like, the... just the trip to the boss. So is that guy there? He might... and when you're fighting him, you might get knocked backwards and open up that one... Uh... Oh, that, yep, yep, yep. So there's a, there's a spiders that get something to attack you. There's a werewolf right outside your door. There's a much larger wolf in one of the side paths. And when you're fighting the one small werewolf, you might knock him back enough to open up the 
the uh, the ch the uh, casket that has the other wolf in it. So like you could fight four people on the way to this boss potentially if things go poorly enough, or or what just ha just happened could happen. So what do we have? What is that? Uh oh, oh, it's that horrid beast. Okay, well we just fought one of these recently. At least I know more or less what I'm getting myself into. Still though, this guy's not easy. That's for sure. Uh, this guy was very stressful to fight before. Might have to. Sh I might have to be quiet during this. Oh, this definitely took some concentration last time. Oh, god, damn it! Fuck. It's really frustrating when they give you enemies where the best way to fight them is to get behind them, but then they keep jumping backwards to walls. Kind of nullifies that approach for the moment. Then at that point, your only approach you can do is jump backwards, but that doesn't work against so many enemies, as you guys have been so clear to point out over and over again. <laughs> but every now and then, an enemy will put themselves in a position where you can't do anything else. Is he going to charge up or something? Hello. Shit. Alright. It's good to know that they have a less hidden version of this guy. It's still deep and optional content, but at least it's not... At least this boss, this enemy is not exclusive to a weird NPC that you might not interact with in the specific way that you have to to fight him. So a lot of people probably don't fight enemy, random NPCs. Even the suspicious ones. Alright, this is going so far so good. Does he have a shockwave? I don't remember if he explodes ever. I don't think he does. I think he just gets powerful. I think I kind of like this guy better when he's being all philo uh, philosophical and stuff. Uh, God damn it. Trying to go for that healing opportunity. There we go. Uh, I blew that. God damn it. Uh, no! I really struggle with the dodge timing for whatever reason. What's he doing? Is he just getting more powerful? He's, oh, he's healing. Huh? Hey, buddy. No! Damn it. His attacks come deceptively fast for some reason. Like, somehow, like, I see the wind-up, but then when I might somehow, like, when I'm trying to time... Fuck. I need to stop talking. I can't process. Shit. Blowing through my blood vials. My hands are so sweaty! <laughs> it's getting way too hot to play these games. It's like a genuine problem right now, is it's like 100 degrees every day. And my hands are too fucking sweaty to manipulate these joysticks and, and like, dodge in the correct direction. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna be close. Oh! Come on. Finish him? Ah, oh, first try. Thank goodness. <sighs> These fights are no place for a great sword. <laughs> lower Lorin lower, lower Chalice acquired. Probably enough blood echoes to level up, but if not, I have I have some hard echoes to use too, to put over the edge. Alright, first try. I think the I think both of the bosses on the way here actually took more tries than that. That's definitely a... I can't even imagine fighting that boss from front to end with a within uh, in great sword mode. You just need the you just need to be able to dodge really frequently. But I got it. It's a fun fight. <laughs> if you like, if you don't have a heart condition. All right, can I level? Welcome. The answer is yes, I can, with just two thousand to spare. All right, so I'll keep the rest of my cold blood in my inventory there for now. And I'll use them whenever I find myself just short of 90,000 and, and, and in need of that. I think I have like three of them now. Like seven and eights. Yeah. One, seven, two, eights. 
That'll help me put get me over the cap later. All right, so I think we're gonna go back to the normal world of Bloodborne now. Uh, we'll be go we'll be doing Chalice Dungeons again very soon, but I'm gonna go probably go do Rom next to phase change the world, and then maybe see how that affects certain story elements and stuff like that. See you guys next time.